Hallelujah. Yeah. You think a police alone have gone? You yeah, ever take a look up for the bad boy, them one? Then you can have gone, you know, they are jammed down. When police are seeing some kind of a gun, fire a riot, come on, not a riot. Blessed, blessed people. Welcome back. You see it? You see today, peeps, we're going to talk about two top dancer DJ who converted to Christianity and started to preach gospel. You know what I mean, people? We're going to talk about the situations which caused these dancer artists to convert to Christianity. These two dancer artists that I'm talking about who converted to Christianity are Papa San and Lieutenant Stitchy. Both of them have very interesting stories. They get to mass of people. Yeah, man. Both of them journey towards Christianity. Very interesting. First, we're going to start off with Papa San. So, people, Tyrone Thompson, popularly known as Papa San, was born on July the 1st, 1967. Papa San was born in Kingston, but he grew up between Kingston and Spanish Town because you know, say, Papa San having people him in a Spanish Town. Whilst growing up, Papa San spent most of his time growing up with his grandmother, who was a Rasta lady. In the late 1970s, as a young man, Papa San started to express his musical ambition. You get to me, I say, Papa San used to work on various sound systems. Sound system like stereophonic, bionic sound. Black Scorpio and Creation Sound System. Papa San's ambition was always to become a dancehall DJ. You know what I mean? In 1981, Papa San entered the TST talent contest and he won. Even though he went up against a lot of other talented DJs, he was the victor. You know what I mean? Papa San stand out. From there, Papa San never looked back. Papa San worked with various producers in the music industry people and I mean Papa Zan was outstanding in the late 1980s Papa San career take off the right way you get to be some people when Papa San becoming a household name Papa San headline a whole lot of state shows all about over Jamaica and other places in the world Papa San do some collab with other successful artists in his career some of Papa San's earlier hit songs are songs like Animal Party I will survive legal rights and round table talk. Him do that with Lady G. You get to me, I say. And the next thing with him, Maddy Maddy cry. You get to me, I say. So Papa San stand out amongst the whole host of dancehall acts during the early 1980s. Papa San did a go on good in him career. Him career did a go on good. You know what I mean? Papa San thing did take off on a level. Papa San was one of them kind of artists that were kind of rough on him deal with things. You see it, peeps? One of the first incidents to take place, people, that really shake up Papa San and had a real effect on him mentally and broke his heart was when his brother, Dirtsman, was murdered in 1993 in Spanish Town. Dirtsman was also a dancehall DJ that was born on March 4, 1965, in Spanish town, Papa San, bigger brother. Them father used to be the owner of a sound system named Black Universal Sound. Dirtsman start off a work with him father son. You know what I mean, people? After a time, him switch and start work for a different sound system. Dirtsman a record music professionally from in the mid 1980s. Dirtsman have a couple hit song, you know what I mean? You know him? Fairly short career. He have a song with him, Thank You, and he have another song with him, At This Year. Me know, say, most people must hear that one day. But you know people, as things start to take off for Dirtsman and him sign a contract with BMG recording company, he never get fit to do any more work. You get to mess of people because his life and career was cut short when he was gunned down by four gunmen in the Spanish town era. It is alleged that he was aligned to certain gang in the area, you know what I mean? And rival gang took him out. Because you know what, people, once you get powerful and people see you as an enemy, your enemy is going to try to move you because if you get powerful, you will overthrow them. You know what I mean? Overrun them. Dirtsman was killed. You understand me? I say, people, and you know, say, that I one of the things I mash up Papa San bad, bad, bad. You know what I mean? Because Dirtsman was a person that Papa San look up to on a certain level. Dirtsman was killed on the 21st of December 1993. And people, Three years after that, tragedy struck again when Papa San lost another family member. This time his sister in a motor vehicle accident. And Papa San did really check for him sister. I get the message people. So this further 
mash up papas and meditation you know it leave papas and stress out and you know once you lose relative a certain way it will have a mental effect on you that they kind of break down papas and again and shortly after that people Papa San had a relative, one of his close cousins, that was shot and killed by the police in a confrontation. Papa San himself, who was not a saint back in those time people, also had his fear bit of run-ins with the law. As Papa San is a man that was charged for possession of illegal weapon and so on and so forth people, you know. The problem just a pack up on Papa San. It was obvious that if Papa San had continued on the same path that he was traveling on, he would have got himself into a problem and ended up in prison or could have possibly been killed like his brother. You know what I mean? So what Papa San did, Papa San turned to Christianity in 1997. So people, since Papa San became a Christian in 1997, Papa San changed him life, him changed him style of music. Papa San started off with hardcore gospel music, you know what I mean, like DJ same way. Then over time, Papa San add up and start, you know what I mean, sing more gospel music. You get to mess of people, but Papa San is still a Christian. Papa San is still doing well for himself, you know what I mean, people. Papa San still sing gospel music that even make the billboard charts. Papa San is now a minister of religion. And you know I mean, Papa San has grown and appreciates the gospel. We have to raise the cap to Papa San as a legend and a veteran in a music. A Jamaican reggae dancehall gospel music. Papa San. Big up. Now we're going to talk about Lieutenant Stitchy and his journey towards becoming a christian and ultimately a religious leader cleveland leng aka lieutenant stitchy was born on the 29th of september 1965 in spanish town even though lieutenant stitchy was born in spanish town where he was brought up and i mean he was from a more of a middle class type of family background because he finished school him go college and so on. Lieutenant Stitchy was actually a biology teacher at a high school in Spanish town where he worked for a while before he decided to embark on his musical career, his musical journey. Because his true passion was not in teaching, and I mean people, his true passion was in entertainment. Even though at one point, Stitchy he used to be a teacher while doing music at the same time. In the late 1970s, Lieutenant Stitchy decided to take on his musical career as a singer professionally. In the mid 1980s, he started to work on several different sound systems. During this time, he released his first single under the name Rankin Curtis. And some people used to call him Sitchy because he's a man who used to love citrus fruits. After him first single and so on, he moved on to Stereo One Sound System where he changed his name again to Stitchy. But in a 1986, his real success come when he start for work with Prince Jammy. That was when he record the single Wear Your Size. Who open the member that one of the people? Young girl, wear your size. After that, he released him album in a 1987 titled Great Ambition. You get the message, people. And you know, if you stitch his style, it's a kind of humorous type of artist. You get me? So, most of the time when I listen to him, thing, I have to really laugh because a lot of gimmicks normally in it. He have a time when he would change up his voice for someone on a different type of way. You get the message, people. So, it was a joy for listening to Stitchy back in them time. Then. Stitchy have a single. Naughty dreadlocks, you know what I mean, people. Naughty dreadlocks have a face all type of living. The song they tapped the charts in Jamaica for 14 weeks straight. All of this commercial success led Lieutenant Stitchy to a recording deal with Atlantic Records. And this was in 1988. You know what I mean? Stitchy became one of the first dancehall artists four years after King Yellowman to sign a major recording deal. He released three albums for them, but you know what I mean? He started to lose him Jamaican following. You get to mess with people. It's like them days, uh, once a man sign a certain deal and him overseas are putting the work, it kind of harder for him connect with the people. Him. So it's not like no. So them days, uh, once you left and when I see up on a stage show, it's like you miss it from dancer. After Stitchy get released from his contract with Atlantic 
record him link up back with prince jammy and him go back in the studio in jamaica and him put in some holy heap you get me as a people and the time in 1994 and a whole more it's stitch drop in a them time there. it's like him attack the music with a vengeance you get me as a people whole heap of chart tapping songs songs like burn it down hello cara he also released an album titled gangster in 1995 now we're gonna talk about the tragic incident that caused lieutenant stitchy to be converted into a christian in august 1997 whilst stitchy was driving to montego bay to perform at reggae some fest he met in a serious motor vehicle accident in the accident stitchy received several cuts and bruises and was treated at hospital the doctors advised stitchy that he was not to perform on the show because you know when in an accident you can have internal bleeding and so on and so forth he was supposed to stay in the hospital for observation but stitchy decided to say he might go at the show same way stitchy go at the show and delivered his performance against the advice of the doctors after stitchy concluded his performance as was scheduled he was handed a gold colored bible by a canadian boy and after stitchy go back i'm hotel room stitchy read the bible and after reading the bible stitchy converted to a christian but since becoming a christian stitchy started to do gospel music instead of his original hardcore dancehall music stitchy really took christianity serious i get the mass of people and him never turned back or him no fall down stitchy them out in the world has spread gospel music same way but we have a big up lieutenant stitchy as a veteran in a dancehall music same way you get the mass of people because stitchy them come and then pave the way for a whole heap of younger dancehall artists because people if we don't know where we're coming from we will never know where we are going. We have a salute the legend them. Stitchy, big up. Anyway, people, that is just my bit. You understand? I hope I have shed a bit of light for those persons who did not know. So you can like, subscribe, share. Peace. My father screw my mother. I feel that way. But then we get big fear, my girl, you know. Tell me what he do, my son. Tell me what he do. Tell me what you make a home to your home to. Tell me what he do, my son. Tell me what he do. Tell me what you do. You know, you know. As a little youth in a day get a youth. My father, you so tell me a lot of story. Don't to come on. My brother Nancy, I know big boy, I take out teacher panty. The club boy game was my favorite habit.
them get me lyrically mad And I'm gonna run for prize, you know Young girls, watch this Maureen and Thelma and Mel Perry, can't tell all about it. Hear this now. When they say, Thing you give me young girl, Thing you give me girl, give me the thing, the doctor, Ada. Oh, 